was watching the screen i wasn't there but i am there now so whatever happened happened shall we get on with the show yeah okay so right today's show is about Vavlingen. would you like to say why we're talking about Vavlingen? yes i mean i i said two weeks ago that i would choose another town but i haven't thought about which one yet and um, now this weekend, or this last weekend, from Friday to Monday, uh, Stephen and I were actually in France. Um, we were at the twinning weekend in Mayenne, which is in France. And then I thought, well, in that case, Weiblingen is the perfect town for today's Ask Angelica. But if you want to know why, you'll have to wait for the first sentence which I hope Stephen will put up in a minute. I can't hear you talking. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Angelica has created five sentences in German about Weimigen. I'm going to read them out. Angelica will correct my pronunciation and then we will translate them. So, on to the first phrase. <sighs> right. Weiblingen ist die Partnerstadt von Mayenne in Frankreich und die Weisers in England. Mm -hmm. Except you need to pronounce it in German, so it's in England. England. <laughs> Weiblingen okay. ist die Partnerstadt von Mayenne in Frankreich und die Weisers in England. Yeah. Good. Okay. Uh, so I'm happy with England, happy with that. Okay, now I know the answer to this, and this is why we're talking about Vibingen. Mm -hmm. uh, Vibingen is the twinning town with Mayen and Devizes. Devizes yes. is Vibingen is twinned with Mayen in France and Devizes in England. Exactly. And See, that's why we thought it was a good topic today. Indeed. And the, yeah, yeah, sorry. Go on. Because although we were in France, we did meet up with a lot of our German friends as well from Weiblingen. Well, especially Zilka, because we were with Zilka the whole weekend uh, with Last year. Isabella yeah. Maurice. Isabella Maurice. Okay, so the translation is Weiblingen is the twin town of Mayenne in France and devises, and I can say England this time. Now you can, yes. Okay, good. Right, phrase number two. Weiblingen is im Remstal, östlich von Stuttgart. Okay, almost. Right. The, 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 the tricky bit here is you, you're knowing the word because you said, so Weiblingen ist im, and you said Remstal. And that makes sense because a lot of words do start with ST. But actually, in this case, the it's a compound noun consisting uh -huh. out of Rems, and Tal. So Weiblingen ist im Remstal, östlich von Stuttgart. Right, okay. Uh, so I can I can take it that Weiblingen is west of Stuttgart. Uh, no. uh, okay, I'm going to east of Stuttgart. Okay. Uh, Remstal, I obviously mispronounced Rem, Remstal. You go with Remstal and explain what it means. Mm. Well, Tal is a valley. Mm -hmm. And Rems is a river, river that goes through Reiblingen, exactly. Okay. But that's so, tricky with, see, with, with the English, it comes up as two words. Yeah. So it's no problem. But because in German, when you have a compound noun and you put them together, then obviously uh, that's a bit more difficult. As it was. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Vimeon is uh, in the river valley east of Stuttgart, which is the. Yes, there we are. Okay, phrase number three, all about Vimeon. And uh, seitdem 1. Februar 1962 is Vimeon a große Kreisstadt. Mm -hmm. Seit dem 1. Februar 1962 ist Weiblingen eine große Kreisstadt. Right. And the one dot it signifies Erster. 
Yeah. If it had just been one, then it would have been ein. So Esther February 1962. Um, right. Okay. Now, the uh, problem I've got here is that Grosser is in capitals. Can you mm. explain why? Yes. Um, well, I can explain it now because I actually had to look that one up myself. Because when I saw it first, and I thought, oh, they made because I, I picked all the information from most of it from Wikipedia. And I thought, oh, they made a spelling mistake because adjectives in German aren't spelled with a capital letter. Um, but in this case, it's actually a title. Now, first of all, we need to know what is a Große Kreisstadt. So maybe, Stephen, you need to work out first what the sentence says. <laughs> and I'm coming back to do that. Hello to everybody who's watching. If you want to comment, please do. Um, right, okay. Since the 1st of February, 1962, Wadringen is a, a large, grosser, large. Yeah. Stadt is a town or city. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that leaves us with Kreis. Kreis, uh, Ich I don't know. Right, if I give you a hint and say Trowbridge is the Kreisstadt von Wiltshire. Ah, right. Okay. So Trowbridge is, we don't agree, but Trowbridge is the. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm looking for a word here. I'm, I'm well, it's, 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 it's not quite comparable because Trowbridge is a county town. County uh, Kreisstadt town. is actually a district town. So, right. It's... Yeah. What you would it's say? A, it's the largest district town. Well, if it was a district town which just happens to be large, then okay. Grosse would have been spelled with a low G and no a G and not a capital G. Okay. But uh, Grosse Kreisstadt is actually a legal status for towns with additional competences. And when it's a legal status and, and a title, so to speak, yep. then it will be spelled with a capital letter, even if it is an adjective. So it's part of the title, really, rather than just describing what type of town it is. So we both learned something today. Yeah, absolutely, because I didn't know that right. either. Okay, that's good. Uh, phrase number four, and you can uh, uh, translate the official translation is uh, since 1st February 1962, Weibingen has been a large district town. Yeah. On to... See, the, the translation doesn't tell you much about this title, does it? No. Because it just because... says a large district town. So, But that's because we don't have them. No, indeed we don't. Right, phrase four then. Die uh, Stadt wurde 1634 und während des... Oh. This is a nice one, Angelica. Thank you. <laughs> this Dreisig Jarigen Krieges fast vollständig zerstört. Yeah, I, knew, I wow. knew you would like numbers, so I thought I had to put that one in. So, die Stadt wurde 1634 während des Dreisigjährigen Krieges fast vollständig zerstört. Now, this is, this is something I knew nothing about. I didn't know there'd been a 30 years war um, at all. It's not something that's taught in English history, uh, in history in English schools. So, unless I wasn't there for that lesson, but I'm going to try anyway. Uh, the town was in 1634, uh, well, it was in, involved in the Thirty Years' War and was nearly destroyed. Well, during the Thirty Year War, it yep. was nearly, nearly destroyed. And um, I can't remember the exact numbers now, but I think I read from over. 2,000 or whatever people living there, only a hundred or so survived. Mm. So there, mm. there was a huge damage. Yeah, I, I went to research, but the article was, was so big, I thought I'd bookmark it and go back later, which I will. Right, so the official translation of uh, phrase four is, the town was almost completely destroyed in 1634 during the Thirty Years' War. Mm -hmm. And as Angelica said, the population was reduced to 100. Population now? Oh, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. More, more than divisors. A lot more than divisors. And we stand around about 23,000. Well, Vibingen is larger than we are. And it's a beautiful place mm -hmm. to visit as well. Um, oh, it certainly is, yeah. Yeah. 
and uh, the people are very friendly. Well, we, we've told <laughs> we've told a story because we do the twinning, and that's why we're mentioning Primling and today. Uh, that um, we actually were hosted by somebody new to twinning, and when it came around again that Weiblingen was going to host, they requested that we go and stay with them. Well, that's quite nice, really. I know, and they were disappointed because we were staying somewhere else. That's true. So next time we're in Weiblingen, we'll have to, uh, have to arrange to meet up with them if we can find them. Yeah. Uh, right, okay. Phrase five. Uh, noch heute kann man entlang der ursprünglichen Stadtmauer spazieren gehen. Almost ursprünglichen. It's ursprünglichen. Ja, noch heute kann man entlang der ursprünglichen Stadtmauer spazieren gehen. And we've actually done this. Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Today one can walk around the, uh, the city walls um, and Sprünglichen. Nine. Mm, well, so the, the original. They've been there since. Oh, the original. All oh, right. Yeah. Ursprung Lincoln original. Okay. So let's look at the official English translation. Uh, and today you can still walk along some of the original town wall. Okay. It's Pretty quite close. Quite impressive. Quite impressive no. walking along there, isn't it? Yeah. Normally, what we do at this stage of the show is to actually play a video. But we don't have a video. That was Sorry. when we were in wheelchair. We can't do all the videos from all the towns in Germany now. So oh, <laughs> okay. no, that's all right. Indeed. And it was great last weekend to actually meet up with all our friends uh, from Wangen as we were hosted in Mayen. Mm -hmm. And we're just recovering from a long weekend from Friday through till Monday. And uh, twinning is a win-win situation for everybody and it uh, it's is. good for everybody to get together would you like to correctly read and as i bring them up on screen one by one the german phrases can if i bring the first one up are you okay, okay. with that yeah weibling is the partnerstadt for mayen in frankreich and devices in england uh, weibling is the uh, twinning town of mayen in france and devices in england Well, that's just what it says. <laughs> is, I, could, I could have done that. <laughs> I was just time. about to hey, read that Chris. sentence and I thought there's something wrong here. <laughs> Weiblingen. Phrase two. Weiblingen is in Remstal, östlich von Stuttgart. Uh, Weiblingen is in the river valley to the east of Stuttgart. The Rems Valley. <laughs> We've walked along the river Rems as well. Ah, right. Okay. Is that where the crane was? Yes. Ah, right, in the center of the city. Okay. Mm. Uh, and the third one. Seit dem 1. Februar 1962 ist Weiblingen eine große Kreisstadt. Februar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, since 1st of February 1962, Weiblingen is, I'm going to get the English translation out, uh, a large district town. And on to phrase four. Die Stadt wurde 1634 während des Dreißigjährigen Krieges fast vollständig zerstört. Okay, I uh, might as well be and just read out the English one. The town was com almost completely destroyed in, in 1634 during the Thirty Years' War. And our final phrase today. Noch heute kann man entlang der ursprünglichen Stadtmauer spazieren gehen. Today you can still walk along some of the original town wall, which we have, which mm -hmm. is good. Um, but it's our turn to, to host next year, so the Germans and French will be coming to devices. Yeah. All right. Okay. We'll come to the end of the show. Yeah. And Gilek, well. it's over to you to uh, close the show if you wish. Unless you want, you've got something you want to talk about? Anything no. coming up? No, nothing nope. is coming up at the moment. No, no. So, well, I'll have to have a think about another town. Uh, there isn't a twinning weekend in the meantime, so I'll. Um, uh, it's open ended. I can choose whatever I you want. You can. To do. You can. You can go to anywhere in Germany. Anywhere north, south, in Germany, east, west. Or I can pretend to be anywhere in Germany, and that will be on the eleventh of October. So Wonderful. until then, it's just for me.
Well, choose from here. Bis später. And that's a wrap.